Hi friends! Last week we started learning about shapes and colors and this week the activity is called a shape train. So we're gonna need different color of paper. I have a lot of colors. You can choose whatever colors you want. We have blue, we have pink, green, yellow, and purple. You guys can choose your favorite colors or whatever colors you have at home. And we're gonna need your mommy or daddy's help or anybody who's with you to cut because we're gonna need to cut out shapes. You're gonna get your different papers of colors. You're going to cut out shapes of different sizes. And I have big squares. I have little squares. I have triangles. We have a diamond shape. We have small rectangles. And we're gonna need four circles. Here they are. And then I have medium rectangles. So I already started, but I'm gonna tell you guys what to do. If you guys want to glue your shapes where I glue them, you can do that. Or if you wanna glue them wherever you wanna glue them, you can do that too. So I started by getting a one of the big rectangles and I glued it right there. And then I got a triangle and then I put it right here. And then we got a diamond shape. You can't see it because it's the same color, but you can use a different color. I got a diamond shaped and I put it right there. That's basically the front of our train. So then we are going to get our long, our medium size uh, rectangles. And we're going to put them right behind that big square like this. You're gonna get your glue, you're gonna put glue all over the paper. You have to put it all over the paper so it doesn't fall out. And your hands might be sticky because you're using glue, but it's okay because you can wash your hands after. Let's glue the other one. There we go. So now our train looks like this. So now we need one more part for the back. We're gonna get a small rectangle and we're gonna put it right here at the back. I think the, the, the last part of the train is called a caboose, I think. So this is going to be the caboose. We're gonna right there at the end so sometimes trains um, carry things from one one place to another place so our train is going to be a cargo train and we're gonna put little squares and different shapes on top of the of the carts on top of the long rectangles you can put any shapes you want they just need to be a little bit smaller than than these shapes. I'm gonna put small squares on there. And then I have a medium rectangle that we're gonna put right there too. You can stack them, you can put them in any way you want. This is what my train looks like. Here's the front, here's a cart, another cart, and the last part. And now, remember I told you to cut four circles? I have four circles right here, and I'm going, going to put them for the wheels, the tires of the train. We're gonna put glue on there. You're gonna put one right here. You're gonna put the other one right here. And I think the other ones go right here. Maybe you should make two more for the last part. 
but it'll be okay. So here we have the front of the train, one cart, the other cart, and the caboose. And then here we have some wheels. You can make two more for this last part. So then after that, I think we're pretty much done. If you have any more shapes left, you can go ahead and glue them on top. Or you can decorate your train. I'm going to decorate my train. Oh, we're going to put a little window. And there we go. Oh, one more. And there we go. This is my train. And if you want, you can ask your parents to write on your paper. This activity is called Shape Train. There you go. If you guys want to color on your to color around or on your train, you can get markers or crayons and just make a picture on your train. I hope that you guys had fun doing that and I will see you in the next video next week. Bye, I miss you guys.